Good morning. Today, let's we as continue as how can we estimate the poverty? How can we estimate poverty? In previous class, we discussed as what it means of poverty, mass poverty, the types of poverty. Poverty is a situation in which a person unable to complete their basic necessities, unable to complete their basic necessities, like as a food, shelter, clothing, <clears throat> food, shelter, and When a poverty has extended, when a large section of population unable to complete their basic necessities, basic requirements as a food, shelter, and clothing known as a mass poverty. It is known as the mass poverty. Poverty has their two of their forms, relative poverty and absolute poverty. Relative poverty means <clears throat> when we study the economic conditions prevailing in a different countries of a world in relation to the per capita income. <coughs> relative poverty as a, when we study about economic conditions prevailing in a different countries of the world in relation to the per capita income and national income. In second as we discuss as a absolute poverty, the absolute poverty as refers to the study of a trends of a poverty, poverty in relation to the total minimum calorie consumption minimum caloric consumption by the individuals minimum calories intake by the individuals in that relation we study about the absolute poverty it means the minimum number of calories in a rural areas a person require as a 2400 calories in urban areas a person require as a 2100 calories now as an next part as a estimation of a poverty we can estimate the we can estimate the poverty with the help of two methods expenditure method expenditure method total number of a, total amount of a money which we are spending on a completion of our needs for a completion of our needs for example for purchasing of a food grains for availing as a service of a so poverty in a state in which a person unable to complete their basic necessities. So two methods are there, expenditure method and income method. Total amount of money spent by the individuals for completion of their basic necessities. For example, the total amount of money spending on a food, on availing the services of a rented apartment, electricity, water, for which as a, for the such kind of services when a person has spending a money, and third as a clothing items. When a person spending a money for a completion of their these key basic necessities through which as we can estimate about the poverty. We can estimate about the poverty. In our country, as the per capita income as annually as a 27,000, 27,000. This is as a very low as according to the criteria used by the World Bank for classification of world economies. World Bank used as a criteria for a classification of a world economies world economies has a per capita income in which india has lies under the poorer countries so those sections those sections of a, <clears throat> our country which are earned on as a low per capita income low per capita income are categorized under the poverty now as a next method as an income method income method next as a income method for a calculation for the estimation of a poverty income method in income method we study about the minimum income which has earned by the individuals the amount of money used by the individuals to completion of their basic needs for completion of their basic needs this method is used by the government income method used by government while distributing food to the <clears throat> distributing food to distributing food to PDA system, public distribution system, public distribution system. When government through their agencies, when government through its agencies, it distributed the food grains among the masses. For example, as a Russian shops, 
ration shocks given as a food gains to the those sections of a population which are the economically backward public distribution system public distribution system government and their agencies are responsible for availability of a food for a poorer sections for a economically backward sections through public distribution system at the local level <clears throat> at the local level public distribution system <clears throat> yes ration cards ration cards are comes under the pds system ration cards are comes under the pds system we all are not categorized under the this category ration shops are generally as given as a food gains to the economically and socially backward sections economically and socially backward sections of society <clears throat> in income method income method government use their agencies for distribution of food through pds system public distribution system or ration shops public distribution system you heard about that the some of the people they are getting as a grains wheat at a 2 rupees per kg 2 rupees per kg as a wheat 3 rupees as a rice and 20 rupees as a pulses when we compare as a market price of a such material wheat now as a presently as selling at amount of a 22 to the 30 rupees per kg rice has starts from the 30 to 40 which has reaching till the 80 90 rupees and when we talking about the pulses pulses not the any of a pulses a pulses are available at below of the 100 rupees but the economically and the socially isolated sections the backward sections they are getting the such amount of such number of a grains wheat at a 2 rupees rice as a 3 rupees <clears throat> 3 rupees rice as a 3 rupees and a pulses as a 20 rupees this is as a set criteria on which as they are given as a grains and materials to the economically and the socially backward sections economically and socially backward sections yes goshan ration shops these are the agencies which are responsible for the distribution of a grains distribution of materials but these are not as a fully public sector it's not as a managed by the government government has given the contracts government given as a contract to them government given the contract to the ration shops on such behalf they are responsible for a distribution of a grains they are distribution of grains so let's continue under this method of a income under this income method man we we will again as a, i will again as a repeat expenditure method in a 9c class so let's we as a continue the income method under this income method poverty line is fixed by the government poverty line fixed by government poverty line fixed by government poverty line fixed by government for example in the year of a 2000 2001 2000 it was as a fixed that the 328 328 per capita per month for the rural areas means the minimum income which has earned by the individual in rural areas as a 328 per person per person in rural area in and 424 for urban areas 424 for urban areas the reason why do as a such difference of a income the reason is that in urban areas the expenses are the more compared to rural areas as compared to the rural areas expenses are the more people are spending as a more money on a different type of services which are providing by the corporation which are provided by the corporation to them for example if they are living on a rented apartment that rented apartment has available at a high cost high cost <clears throat> land owners are collected as a 
higher rent from the from the individuals in urban area the reason is a problem of a space due to as a less space available in a cities people charge as a more rent in urban areas compared to the rural areas so in income method income method poverty line is fixed by the government fixed by government in which a government set as a 328 rupees it was as a data related with a 2000 2001 the 20 years back 328 rupees per capita per person per capita per month for a rural areas and 424 per capita per month for a urban areas so all the families whose total income in a month less than the poverty line fixed by the government fixed by the government in relation to the income method in relation to income method a planning commission given as a planning commission given as a statement that a person which is spending a person which is spending as a 32 rupees in a day 32 rupees in a day the person as consider as above poverty line above poverty line a person which is spending as a 32 rupees in a day 32 rupees in a day for a completion of their basic necessities that person consider as living above poverty line person living as the above poverty line clear so in income method as a minimum money which is set by the planning commission in relation to the completion of the basic needs but in reality grams of a wheat flour required for a 12 chapatis and where the wheat has available at a amount of a 30 rupees wheat available in market as a 22 rupees but a wheat flour after grinding cleaning grinding all procedures the that kind of a wheat flour will available at a 30 rupees 30 rupees means 3 into 3 9 9 rupees are already as a spending on a spending on a purchase not sufficient for it in all over the world as a 1 dollar all over the world the world bank has given as the definition of definition of definition of a poverty as a, a person which is spending as a 1 dollar in a day 1 dollar in a day if we compare the rupees when we as a the estimation of a poverty both are the different so that's why as a poverty trends are the differently lies in all over the world poverty trends are differently lies in all over the world poverty trends are lies differently all over the world i am again repeating as a income method government use government use their agencies for distribution of food grains among masses through pds system public distribution system under this income method poverty line is fixed by the government poverty line fixed by the government as per available financial resources available financial resources according to the 2000 2001 the poverty line was fixed as a 328 rupees per person per month in rural areas and 424 rupees 424 rupees per person per month for the urban areas so all the families whose total income in a month is less than the poverty line fixed by the government are consider the below poverty line they such families consider as the below poverty line now what is the poverty line poverty line is the line which indicates poverty line is the line which indicates poverty line is the line which indicates the level of purchasing power level of purchasing power level of purchasing power required 
to satisfy the minimum needs of a person in other words other words it represents the poverty line represents the capacity to satisfy capacity to satisfy capacity to satisfy the minimum level of human needs the line divides this poverty line divides the population into two groups this line this poverty line divides population into the two groups above poverty line in which we all are living above poverty line and below poverty line poverty line divides the population into the two groups above the poverty line and the other group and the other group of those people who do not have the much of purchasing power is known as the below the poverty line uh, i am again as repeating poverty line is the line which indicates the level which indicates the level of purchasing level of purchasing power required required poverty line is the line which indicates the level of purchasing power required to satisfy the minimum needs of a person it represents the capacity to satisfy the minimum level of human needs this poverty line divides population into two groups this poverty line divides population into two groups that section of population which can satisfy their needs which can complete their needs which can complete their needs is considered as above the poverty line above the poverty line and the other group of those people who do not have the much of purchasing who do not have the much of purchasing power is known as the below poverty line is known as the below poverty line is known as the below poverty line per capita for a rural areas has a 328 it was as a older data in 2000 2000 sell as a, what are the causes responsible for poverty in india what are the reasons responsible for poverty in india first british rule british rule yes aditya poverty in india in previous year last year you read about how britishers how britishers they adversely impact over indian economy indian economy during as a british rule a large amount of wealth drained towards the europe drained towards the england which leads to the shortage of a capital in our country britishers ruled over a country for more than the 200 years for more than the 200 years prior to the british rule traditional industries for instance textiles means weavers these were flourishing flourishing the trade in india during the british rule they adopted the policies britishers adopted such policies which discouraged industrialization in india here we are talking about the early phase of a british age when britishers just started as a ruling over our country they started to ruin our country they started to ruin our industries how most of the raw material directly as exported towards the england for manufacturing of clothes 
if the raw material not available for a weavers how can they will manufacture the clothes how can they will manufacture the clothes second thing no doubt britishers introduced as a cash crops commercialization of agriculture but in commercialization of agriculture they emphasize on a such crops which were high demanded in a european countries neither for a perspective of a indian farmers they forced the farmers to produce as a indigo that indigo which decreased the fertility of a soil so adversely commercial crops also adversely impact over a society introduction of a new revenue systems during as a british age new revenue systems it increased the income of company neither as a beneficial for the farmers those farmers which were earlier paid as a lesser taxes you read about as a mughal age also mughal age or the age the time of a chatrapati shivaji at that time most of the time the half half of the production it was collected as the taxes at the time of a mughal age at the time of a shivaji chatrapati shivaji in a parts of a maharashtra at that time at that time the one tenth of a total production collected as a tax or a one fourth collected as a tax but during as a british age they forcefully collected as the huge 70 to 80 percentage of a total production as a taxes as a taxes britishers also as adversely impact over the indian industry as the very good luck to as a british goods british goods were sold as a cheaper comparatively to indian goods so that's why as a nobody prefer to purchase as a handmade goods handmade goods which were as a most of the time as a expensive comparatively the machine made goods during british age so british rule during british age adverse british policies adverse british policies impact on adverse british policies on adverse imp british policies impact on indian textiles indian textiles comma indian textiles industries comma agriculture agriculture comma economic conditions of people comma trade trade and political structure political structure political structure during the british age during the british age policies were framed as according to the will of as according to the needs of britishers neither for indians neither for indians neither for indians during british age during british age weavers lost their jobs we, traditional weavers lost their jobs weavers lost their jobs tribals lost their habitation sites with the enactment of the forest law with the enactment of a forest law enactment of forest law the movement of a tribals restricted by the britishers so tribals lost their habitation sites habitation sites habitation sites third monopoly of britishers monopoly means this is as a that kind of a market tradition in which a limited number of producers are there if the one producer is there which has manufacturing a good then it will the price set the prices as per their will and consumers are bound to purchase the that good at a high rates also in a present day of a markets there are a not as a monopoly of a, any of a company different number of a companies are selling the same type of a product for example when we, when you are when the garima garima moving towards as a market for a purchasing of a toothpaste toothpaste number of varieties are there babul pepsodent uh, fresh movements or uh, sensodyne 
dant kanti patanjali so many are there so these are the options given to the consumers by the producers so all the producers try to increase their sales by giving as a more incentives low prices more incentives to their consumers but at that time the time of a british age britishers monopoly over the market a limited number of producers they sold the goods at a high rates only as a those goods which were not manufactured in india those which were not manufactured in india so they were adversely impact over a indian society which visualized as after the independence when india faced as a economic crisis after the independence india faced as the economic crisis due to the draining to due to as a draining of a wealth towards the england due to the draining of wealth towards the england second first as a british rule second high rate of population high growth rate of population high growth rate of population high growth rate of population as per the increasing of population the number of the services are not improving that's why as a poverty is widely lies in our country at the time of independence 70 years back the time of independence our total population it was near about 35 crores as per the british records total population of india it was near near about the 35 crores and after completion of a 70 years india's total population now at it becomes as a 130 plus 130 crores plus as according to the 2011 census the previous census which was held on a 2011 as according to this the india's population as a 121 crores 121 crores 121 crores after every 30 to 35 years india's total population it doubled till as a 1970s 90s 1980s the india's total population it becomes as a 70 to the 80 crores and after completion of a next as a 35 40 years now it has reaching moving towards as a 140 crores it doubled after every 30 to 35 years 30 to 35 years for a calculation of a such number of inhabitants for which as a census held census organized by the government census as a official counting of a counting analysis and a presentation of a data which has managed by the indian statistical organization so through which we can obtain that the india's total population has increasing as per the increasing population the number of services are not improving land area under the agriculture decreasing day by day decreasing day by day we are now as a gorav has living there 40 years back that land it was used for a agriculture purposes due to the expansion of a jalandhar expansion of jalandhar same as the other cities metropolitan cities they are occupying the occupying the agriculture land they are occupying the agriculture land due to as a less agriculture land less productivity if the productivity is a less and the demand has continuously increasing demand badhti ja rahi hai but the supply of the goods is a decreasing day by day which has impact over a inflation hike in prices jab kisi cheez ki demand continuously bad rahi hai supply kam hoti ja rahi hai supply kam hogi for example in a off seasons fruits are generally fruits are generally has present in markets as a smaller in quantities supply so under such circumstances such fruits such materials in market they are selling at a high rates high rates so when a land under the cultivation reducing then their impact will visualize through the hike in prices it has directly related with the population increasing population increasing the burden on a resources natural resources natural resources are burdened by the increasing population with the high growth of a population burden on a natural resources increasing day by day this is as a second reason responsible for the poverty in india third as the low productivity of labor sorry low productivity of agriculture very good gushan low productivity of agriculture less productive agriculture less productive agriculture less productive agriculture 
in our country the agriculture is a basically practiced for a subsistence neither for a commercial purposes our 70 percentage of a land used for a subsistence purposes subsistence neither for the commercial subsistence means when you are growing the crops especially as a food crops for the survival when you produce the crops for your survival neither for a commercial trade purposes that kind of agriculture is a, uh, considered as a reason for the reason for the reason for the poverty in india clear rest we will continue on the next class